We're talking about schools now on our topic number three, from HVAC to past many D.C. schools. They are still waiting on crucial repairs, even though school has been back in session for weeks now. Lauren Lumpkin from the Washington what? Post joining us now uh, hey, with Lauren. this report. Lauren, a lot of schools dealing with a host of problems. We're talking leaks and rodents to broken elevators, oh. even no air conditioning. What is going on? Yeah, so it's the first few weeks of school, and honestly, we, we see this every year. Um, over the summer, you know, kids are away out of the classrooms and they come back and then kind of see some issues with their with, um, with their schools. Um, a lot of it is routine, but it's still, I think, cause for concern, especially, you know, you're back in school, kids are excited to be there. Um, but, I, you know, I've been hearing from parents and from teachers that, you know, maybe the environments they are in are not kind of up to what they expected. Um, the first couple weeks of school were really hot, and so we did see a lot of the HVAC issues. Things have thankfully cooled down a little bit, but... Um, you know, kind of, I'm keeping an eye on it, especially as temperatures get colder and we, we want to see, make sure that classrooms have the correct, you know, proper heating um, when winter does come around. What is the city saying about uh, these repairs? We, I know we hear from the students and from the teachers. Is there an official word about all of this stuff? Like, somebody just mentioned rodents. Right. So I know somebody has something to say about the rodents. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, so the Department of General <laughs> Services, which oh, they, it's their job, it's their responsibility to maintain all the city-owned buildings, and that includes the D.C. public schools. Um, and so rodents is a, is a high priority. That's what their um, acting director told me, that rodents is a high priority. It's yeah, up there with eight factors. So, yeah, <laughs> so, so that is something that they know is happening and they are addressing. Um, you know, I've been told that they're responding quickly. They have lots of crews out there. Um, it's just kind of a matter of making sure that matches with what I'm hearing on the ground from, you know, the people who are actually in schools day to day. So there's a little bit of a difference there, but, you know, the agency is aware of the issue and said that they're putting all the resources behind dealing with these problems quickly. Is it a money issue? Is it a staffing issue? Because, yeah, they're dealing with it, but clearly not fast enough where we're still having these lingering problems, not just this time, but it seems like they're perennial issues. So what's, what's at the heart of this? Is it a, maybe a management problem? It, it's I, I don't it it's, could be a lot of things honestly I, I did speak to Councilmember Denise Lewis George her committee oversees DGS and um, she said she was looking forward to the agency having more money this upcoming fiscal year which starts in October so maybe that means that they can add on to their preventative maintenance efforts and get ahead of these problems a lot faster um, there was a, a, an auditor report from last fall um, that did cite some kind of concerns about how the agency deals with requests and how they how quickly they handle maintenance uh, or work orders. Um, I do know that some of those concerns have been dealt with, but you know it's only been a year since that report came out. And so um, I, I think it's kind of several things going on. Um, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Laura thank Lumpkin you. with the Washington Post. Thank you for that update. It's sad to see that we keep talking yes. about this. <sighs> Give those babies a break. Let's let's get Please. these schools in order. Please, they're coming to school. Look out for them. To learn, not to fight off rodents and leaky roofs. And if they learn enough, they can use the word perennial in... <laughs> I saw you sneak that in. I, I tried. <laughs> DMV Zone, we're coming back.